Hey everybody, Norm over here and I've got my buddy Mike Campbell here on the couch with Mark and uh, one of my favorite guitar players in the world and uh, congratulations on the Fleetwood Mac thing. I think Thank that's you. really cool. I'm really excited, yeah. And you play in my other favorite band, the Dirty Knobs. Anybody who's going to be in LA, if the Knobs are playing, that's the band to see. Yeah, that's a great little band. We've been together, can you believe it, 12 or 15 years now. Three, and we yeah. just cut a record and it's just absolutely incredible. I'm so proud of them. How many tracks did you guys do for the record? Well, we, we had eight days. We wanted to get three or four just to get a demo. And we ended up getting 20 tracks. So and it was and fairly... And we just got on a roll <laughs> and, it sent, and they got a great sound in the studio. We cut them all live and uh, it was phenomenal. I'm, I'm really proud of that. Well, it's a great band. I mean, great rhythm section. Jason is fantastic. Jason Sine, our buddy, comes in here and does videos for us. And, uh, you know, if you're in L.A. and the knobs are playing, the dirty knobs, that's a must-see. Thanks for the plug. More. There you go. And if you're ever in Van Nuys, or what, we, Tarzana. Tarzana. If you're ever in Tarzana, come by this store. This is like the best guitar store in town. Just look around. Well, He's got everything here. And all the good stuff's in the back room. <laughs> and speaking of just odd stuff, this is a Supro. And uh, you said you you like these for what tune that you do? Uh, you well, Fleetwood Mac, I'm learning some of those songs, and there's this one song called World Turning. And I have a, another type of Supro at home, and I was I tuned it to a specific tuning. And it sounds so good, I want to use it, and then I realized I need to have a backup for that one guitar. And I walked in, I saw this, this is perfect. I mean, the other one's blue, but this one's black. It's almost the same thing. What's kind of cool is if everybody used the Les Paul or a Strat, everybody yeah. sounds exactly the same. Right? Oh, these sound really good, really authentic, you know. It's just a finger-picking type song, so this is clear for the finger-picking. Uh, Can I ask you a question about the Fleetwood Mac thing? Uh-huh. Tour like that, how many guitars are coming out with you? God, like, how many, how many vaults? Because, I, I mean, you yeah. got a lot of stuff. When you have that much stuff, what do you pick to bring, and how much stuff do you bring? Well, the Heartbreakers, I take about 10 or 12 stuff guitars for different songs, you know, specific songs or different tunings. And then spares and, uh, as well, or that includes your well, spares? Well, some of them can back up the other ones if yeah. I have a problem. Uh, but um, it depends on the songs. Once we get into rehearsal and we see what songs we're doing, then I'll know, well, I need a Gibson's for this or Fender for that or this one for the one song. And that'll determine. I don't like to carry too many. Uh, probably keep it down to 10 if I can. Keep it one vault <laughs> for yeah. the One vault for sure, yeah. And rig's going to be pretty much the same? Princeton. I mean, yeah, that's my rig. That's my live forever. rig works in all situations, so uh, they'll have a great PA, so I'll just put it up to the PA. And, I'm and that rig is a Princeton reverb? Black and Princeton tweed. face reverb in, in tandem with a uh, 59 Fender Tweed Deluxe. like Narrow panel Tweed So those two amps together, one's a little cleaner. Oh, look who's here. One's oh, a little cleaner, and the other one's got, got the... <laughs> Speaking of the dirty knobs. <laughs> I found the dirty knob learning. There's a dirty knob right <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, What's Ape, Ape, is Ape in the has house. arrived. What's up? Sit down. Hey, sit down. Man. Just plug in the dirty knob. Sounds like Monkey Man. This is the Monkey Man. Speaking of dirty knobs, this is the other guitar player, the good one in the band. <laughs> and, uh,. We, I was just telling him, we just cut a record and basically it's 95% done, all live on the floor, and it's amazing. Yeah, we left it all In hanging fact, there. you know who came over yesterday? It was Ryan Ulott. Oh, yeah. And I played him a few things, and after the third song, he goes, are you playing both the guitars? I said, no, that's my guitar player, Hey, He goes, you guys play great together. Yes. <laughs> he's really got, he's got you covered great. You know? Good. That's a, a I was line sweating, line man. Coming from you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were just talking, I was just talking to Mike before about um, when I saw you guys at uh, Santa Barbara, you know. Oh, yeah, that was cool. Phil, your keyboard player, I said, and these guys, they did their, their show and their gig, but first they backed sure. up John Kay from Steppenwolf. And the first thing I said, being a Hammond B3 guy, you know, from back in oh, the right, old days, yeah. you know, I said, How's he going to get that sound? He'll never get that sound. And he had it so dialed in. I don't yeah. think John Kay ever sounded that good in his oh. life. I'm sure he probably oh, was going, you. you know, fine, can I huh? take these guys out on the road? Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was smiling for sure. Yeah, he was a happy camper. Was that was really cool. cool. Did you know I was going to be here or you just happened to be by? Well, I kind of maybe had a little hurdle rumor. Oh, there might oh. be a gate around and I needed to come out anyway. He needs to play that OM-18 again, check it out. Uh, oh, that. Of running oh, through. That you got your something. <laughs> yeah. Want to play a so, little bit? Yeah, let me get you uh, an acoustic, Jason, so okay. maybe you guys can uh, 
There's a case, There's a case right down there. It sounds like more of us that way. Exactly. <laughs> that's what you're going to get when you see the Dirty Knobs, and that's one of their great tunes. That's actually my favorite. That's knob. a J.J. Kale song. Well, but you yeah. do it every time that I see hey. you guys, and that's a great tune. <laughs> How about you? Consider J.J. was a buddy of mine. Come too, on. So. Well, we're done anyway. Uh, we're not on film. Yeah, but the film's uh, the film. They just turned it off. I turned it off. Oh, you did? No, yeah. I didn't. She turned it off. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she knew better. That's all right. We need um, something good looking in this mess over here. <laughs> really. uh, all right. Well, all I can say is thank you guys so much for coming in. Thanks, and man. I appreciate it. It's always yeah. great to see you, Mike. I always see Jason about at least yeah. once a week or so. Jason's uh, on the direct deposit program here. I am. <laughs> I'm one of your best victims. I mean, That's customers. Right. That's right. <laughs> The great Jason Sine, great Mike Campbell right here at Norm's Rare Guitars. Dirty Knobs are coming. Half of the Dirty Knobs right now and check out the new record. It's going to be terrific.